Hello and welcome back. I planned to start my video with this little 040 collecting uh, these wagons here, but as you can see, she's struggling with the old diamond crossing there. There's a little alloy track section in there, which I think we've, we've lost a connection to. So I think unless we've got sort of lots of forward momentum there, she really struggles to get across. So I think it's definitely time to have a closer look at that and see what can be done about it. Here we've got the old diamond crossing. We're just sticking the meter on it. It's this piece here, which I think is causing me the problem. So there's, there's no continuity there at all. This little connection strip there, nice continuity in there. And this one, so that's working. So it's this piece here causing the stall. So to remove this diamond crossing, it, it's not, not a quick thing. We've got to lift the track and the catenary all the way back around there to just behind those buffers so I can ease the whole thing forwards a little just to release release the diamond crossing. So I'll get on with that and we'll, we'll have a look at it once I've released that diamond crossing. When I put this track down, I, I use the absolute minimum number of track pins just so that if I had to do any adjustments, it was much, much easier. So I'm using a palette knife to, to pull up the, the track a little bit and then ease the pins out with my fingers. And some of the catenary is screwed in and some of it's just clipped into the old track bed. And we're having to take some wires off the old points there. And we are gonna take the opportunity to change some of the point motors whilst we've got the track out. So here's, here's the offending piece of track. It's a Super 4 Diamond Crossing, it's R492. You can see, it's just written on the back there or in, molded into the plastic. So that's a left-handed Diamond Crossing. These came along in the early 60s after Series 3 track. Now, I've marked the, the piece of rail which is which is causing the issue there. You can see how it's just uh, like an interference fit into the, these little copper or brass strips running in there, so it's just not making contact. Now, sadly, I haven't got a spare one of these in, in good enough condition to put, put in, so we'll see what we can do. Now, this is a a right-handed R493. Now, I've just been experimenting with this earlier in the day. This one was already in poor shape and somebody had partially tried to, to solder or, or attach onto the back of that piece of track there, but it, it didn't work. It doesn't, you can't solder onto this one. I haven't found a way of successfully doing it yet. Um, so what I did was remove the piece of track, this little rail here, drilled a hole in it, I think I ended up using a two millimeter drill bit and then put a steel self-tapping screw in there and then trimmed it off with, a, with the old um, rotary tool and finished it with a file and then I soldered onto it there and indeed this, this makes a, a really good continuity across it although you, you have to sort of ignore that little piece there so we get really good continuity right across there and there. Uh, if I have to, that's what I'm going to do do with this one. I have another one here, and it's just missing lots of pieces. See, all, all the little contact strips have, have vanished. And it's missing the whole rail. It really is in much poorer condition. So let's just have a have a look at this again. Let's see, we've got no contact there at all, but we've got it across there. So. We know that this one, this strip here, is working from there to there. Let's just put, put the old uh, meter on that. But then that's not making contact there. So I'm going to give that a tap with something heavy, perhaps do it off camera, and then we'll see how that works. So I've just tapped the back of these with, with this punch here just lightly tapping it with the old hammer there and keep this in focus and it's just folded those over a little bit more and tightened up the joints so I've taken the precaution of doing each of them while, while we're here and it, it seems to have done the trick I've got continuity back across there again so we'll just pop this down and we'll, we'll have a quick go there we go so we've got continuity back across there again To one degree or another. So I think we'll just get that one back in and 
see if it all goes back together. And as I say, we will change a couple of point motors whilst we're at it. So I said I was going to take the opportunity to change some point motors. And it's just these, these are the later Hornby Railways ones from, from the late 70s, maybe early 80s. And just purely for aesthetic reasons, really, I'm going to replace them with the earlier plastic type. They do work nicely, but I just happened to get hold of a good handful of these just before Christmas. And I've been looking for the opportunity to, uh, to, to fit them, really. But uh, taking these out is def definitely the time to to give that a go, I think. There we go. We'll just get those installed. Obviously, just the, the testing. Well, we're going to have to test them anyway, putting it all back together. But again, we can we can clean up contacts on the ends of the rails. Give them all a good clean up just before they go back in. Originally, when all this went down, all these were cleaned up on the ends, just to give it the best possible chance of, of working. But it seems it's all apart. We might as well. Clean them all up again. So rather than watch this, we'll just uh, speed it up a little. And we'll just begin putting some of these sections of track back into place. And we'll put the odd pin back in to hold it down. You know, the wires back in those new point motors. And I have checked them as I've gone along so that they do work. But I haven't videoed it because it just makes for, for too much video. We'll just keep getting the pieces back in. I won't fully pin this down until we've checked the uh, the industrial locomotive going over that diamond crossing. Otherwise, we'll have to take it all out again and come up with a, a different plan. Um, now as we move along, we get more of those points in. I've got to get the wires back in that point motor under the platform there. That's quite tricky. The fingers are too big to really work under there. It would be easier taking that platform out completely, I think. That means taking more of the catenary out as well. So in they go, wires back in. Just joining up the last few pieces here. And then I think it's time to give the old industrial locomotive a go. And just look at that. That is nice and smooth. Gentle stop. And we'll bring it back through. That works really, really nicely. As I say, when this diamond crossing first went in, it worked just like this, but just in the recent weeks, it seems to have become quite problematic. You've had to charge across it just to get anything to, to move smoothly through. So one last time through there, and we'll switch those points behind it. So that was fairly successful, I think. So I think I'll confidently put the rest of this track back together. And we'll see if we can get the, the whole thing running. We'll try and re reshoot that bit that I did earlier. So we'll just pop that back together. And we'll get this one in over here. I'll we'll try and get the old catenary back into place as well. And then just need to do a, a test run with that as well. I imagine we've done some uh, some damage somewhere along the way. Not damage, but It'll be out of adjustment, I imagine, is, is probably the, the best way of put, putting that, because it is quite temperamental at the best of times. So we'll just get that one into there. And put the old spur on. And clip that back up here. So I'll get on with that. And then we'll, we'll have a look once it's all, all back in place. So I have all the, all the track back down again now. Let's try and pick up these wagons smoothly through there. I think we've coupled with those and off we go. Nicely through there. Quite a heavy load for this little locomotive. Quite nice through there. Ooh, that container wagon didn't like the diamond crossing very much, did it? And off into the distance. And we'll switch the points and bring them to a stop. We'll back up alongside the station here. What we'll do, we'll get her uncoupled and we'll run around the wagons and, and we'll push them back around the layout to the sidings. So we'll just move forwards and we're going to bring her back through points number eight there. 
right the way along, cross the old diamond crossing, gentle stop before points number seven, close eight and open seven, and through we go. And then we'll switch seven again. And we'll just gently nudge forwards, pick up the wagons and keep it rolling, I think. Off into the distance now, into that second radius curve. They are behaving quite well. I'm just looking out for that old container wagon to, to jump off the rails at any moment, but uh, so far so good. Round we come up towards points number one there, and we'll have a gentle stop, and we'll just arrange the points in the sidings there. And then forward we go, and we're gonna leave a handful of these wagons with the interesting loads here in this siding. And we'll just back off and leave those, taking advantage of the old uncoupling ramp there. Gentle stop, and we'll switch the points. And we'll put the rest of these wagons alongside the elevated section, just to the left of those uh, bright yellow wagons. Nice and smoothly in there. And we're gonna take out the old guards van again. There we go. We'll switch the points and then we'll go and pick up those wagons with all the interesting loads on them. We've just got to push her across the old uh, uncoupling ramp, otherwise we won't be able to pull them back out. And off we go. It's quite nice just to sit here and play with these. I really enjoy moving stuff around on the layout and switching stuff through the points. I say it's great fun as well as making stuff charge around the track and putting a big smile on your face. It's a great way to spend a couple of hours, this. And off we go. Around the track, into that first radius curve there, so hopefully everything will behave as we push it around the curve. Off into the distance. Seems to be doing well so far. And we're gonna push it through points number nine there, onto the old passing loop. Looking very well behaved. Say that other diamond crossing, that, that works very well also. And I think we're just going to back up along the old passing loop there onto the spur where we started. Now I think that's probably about it for this week, but thanks for watching. We look back again next week, we'll, we'll have something else interesting to have a look at. Goodbye now.